I love about your title is sound architect. Yeah. Uh, because there's an architect and everything with architecture is more like mm -hmm. everybody thinking is the visual side of it. And yeah. and now is the child like the opportunity to once and for all change this and improve the architecture and the balance of noise levels in, yeah. in spaces. Yeah. And me myself, I love the word aura architecture because it says the human experience of sound in spaces. Yeah. Tell us about the role of a sound architecture and its importance. And most importantly, why is that um, like still fairly untapped opportunity in the business of architecture? The, to you know, to if you go, if you're gonna have a good sound environment, no matter what, if you are like a, um, a shopping mall or a co co office or what, working or whatever it is, um, people are gonna be in the environment. So you need to if you work with with the whole environment uh, the content is just one thing the technology is another thing mm -hmm. then you have to look at peop people's behavior what are, what are people doing in this space mm -hmm. uh, there might be different activities going on at the same time um, so you need first of all you need to to have a good talk with your customer about the brand the experience and then there's a lot of function if you are in an office area uh, you need people to feel good and in harmony. But there's also a lot of function. You need to have areas where it's like quiet and you need to have areas where you, it might be allowed to be a little bit more, uh, you know, to talk and to integrate with each other. So uh, if you're going to work with what I'm doing, uh, you need to be in control of people behavior, uh, the environment itself, what is the the challenge in the environment, because there, there might be that you have to bring in a, a colleague that's working with acoustics. So the environment itself had to be tolerated to, to bring in sound and people's behavior and then good technology and the technology need to be placed where it's supposed to be placed uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to the concept and the experience. And then of course the the, the productions, the sound and music. So if you do just one of those uh, bits in the cake, you're not going to have a, a good uh, sound environment. Mm -hmm. You need to, to take every piece and combine it to, so you have like a holistic point of view. And then you need also to make sure that the, the content is going to be fresh all the time to give something for the experience. Well, it's a living organism, right? You can't yeah, just create it once and then no. hope for it to, 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 to fit in. And I, the way you're explaining it is the way I've done events for like 15 years is like you need to make sure that all elements fit. And then when you put yeah. the music, it's when the, the elements start dancing. Uh, yeah. You also state the, the right sound in the right place to the right person explain yeah. this for us and how important it is i think it's uh, it is all about that because in the in the uh, the hearing is the only uh, how should you say the omni channel we have mm. uh, because you 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 are actually your ears are taking in sound from each side in front of you behind you under over yeah 360 and, uh, mm. everything is like spinning around and and if you are in any environment, there will be sound in there, no matter what. As soon as there is humans, we are creating sound. We're talking that sound. There is like shoes or whatever we're doing uh, on the tables. There is sound all over the place. And then also environments itself has sounds like from ventilation systems or um, if you're tapping on, on your computer or whatever. So there is always a lot of sound going on at the same time. And... Uh, we are not taking in one sound at a time. All the sound that is around is what you're actually hearing. So when you are doing sound design in, in any public environment, people cannot choose themselves. If you're home, in your own home, you can make the decision, what am I gonna listen to? How am I gonna listen to it? Um, but if you are in an, a co-working office or a shopping mall, you don't have that opportunity if you don't go walking around with your own headphones on. 
if someone else is making the decision on what, mm. are you, what are you going to consume when it comes to sound. So when you bring in, bring in or taking out sound, uh, you always have to be considerate about what is the sound of this environment before we even do anything. Mm. Uh, so that is like one thing. What are we want? What is it that we want to do? What 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 kind of order is the customer giving us? So that is that thing, and those two has to be blend together to create a good sound environment. Mm -hmm. So if I don't consider the sound that's already existing, I don't have a clue what I'm producing, mm -hmm. because I could, you know, if we are in our studio, everything is going to sound good. Mm -hmm. But is it really going to sound good when it's blending into what's already existing in there? Yeah. So then you need to uh, do a recording of existing sounds or if the building is not there because it might not be built. Mm. Uh, we, we do have the knowledge, so we, we know what it's, what it's probably going to sound like. So when you blend them two together, that's when you have the, the sound that actually going to penetrate people's hearing. And... Uh, to create the, the right sound for the, the right person, uh, you need also to know who is the person? Mm -hmm. Who is the person who's going to be in this environment? And it might not only be the target group, it could also be the uh, staff. So there might be many target groups that's actually going to be in the environment. So you need to find a concept that is going to give something to everybody. And... Um, to create good, a good sound environment that is designed, there is also uh, cycles. And a cycle could be like the, the daily cycle in morning, lunch, afternoon, evening, or it could be uh, cycles that the customer has. So the, the sound content should be able to follow the, the cycles. And to be able to do that, you need to have technology and productions that is going to bring the right experience and feelings out for the target groups. Mm -hmm. Now, it's very interesting uh, what you're saying, especially like in a space, there's so much things going on, but there's also a lot of um, furniture, for example, or, or things that an architect had designed and different material observed uh, different kind of uh, sound. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like you design it with the eyes, but it's not until you walk the space afterwards when it's filled with a crowd of people that you start yeah. figuring out the sound. Mm -hmm.